My opinion of humans? <laughs> I think you're vain. So proud of your spirit, and yet... So very fragile. You see, you all have your ways of dealing with your wounds. You grieve. But that's just the way of things. Life decides. You accept. You suffer. Tara always called it her black fog. On her bad days, she wouldn't even leave her bed. She'd just lie there, staring at the ceiling. You hate. The world needs people like me. All these do-gooders who think they could fight evil without getting their hands dirty are self-righteous idiots. But some wounds don't heal. They fester. So you look for a cure. Imagine there's a way not to just see, but to travel into other realities. Imagine that the what-ifs wouldn't have to stay hypothetical. It's just that her last letter scared me. It sounded so final, as if she was walking towards an abyss, and I couldn't stop her. Who were these people? Some kind of cult? The father, the leader of the Relata, is a monster if there ever was one. When I was a child, he abducted me and other orphans to experiment on us. He has no idea I'm still alive. And I'm coming for him. Often, however, this cure is just poison to numb the pain. And it slowly turns your wounds into tumors. Until one day, they burst open. It worked. We're here. No. Naya, not again! Please! This is our chance to finally do something that matters. Something real. This is it, Tara! This is what you gave me up for! So it's true, Theral. You're losing your mind. Just like Sister Pride did. No! So, what do I think of your kind? I pity you. The human condition is a sickness. I have the cure. You were right, you know. There's a line beyond which there's no redemption. I crossed it long ago. Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new playthrough on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna try to keep this intro short since everybody always gives me crap for keeping my intros very, very long for each new playthrough. This is Ender All Forgotten story Stories, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is a total conversion mod for The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. A lot of people always ask me to play some more Skyrim on this channel, and while I already did 100% playthrough, I thought, why don't we split the difference and play Ender All? Uh, my absolute favorite mod I, to me this is the best mod that has ever come out for this game uh, it's a total conversion meaning it's its own story it's, it's got its own characters it's completely on its own it, you know kind of away from skyrim the only thing that it has to do with skyrim is it runs on its engine and obviously you know the gameplay is very similar but I've started this playthrough, uh, like, I think three times now, both on YouTube and on Twitch, and I never got far, and that's because, uh, my computer has sucked, but recently I got a brand new computer, and thus, it allows me to play this thing buttery smooth, which I've always wanted, because this is a beautiful game, this game is so good, and I'm just gonna refer to it as a game, it's not even a mod in my mind, it really isn't, because this is... Just its own thing, man, as you will see, as you will see. Uh, so there will be a point in this playthrough where it is no longer blind, or sorry, where it is blind, but I have ran through the beginning of this uh, multiple times, and I'm not sure the farthest that I've ever gotten, but trust trust me, there's going to be a point where it's blind and I have no idea what's 
to come. So, you know, I could talk about this game more and more and more, but I think it's better to just jump straight in so you all can see what this is about. If you have no idea what Enderall is, or if you have never really experienced Skyrim modding, but like I said, this is its own game, really. So, just for everybody, this is on Steam. This is uh, the Enderall Forgotten Stories, which is basically like the Steam full release version with, like, new newly added things. I don't know what they added because, I, like I said, I never got far in this game. Um, and I'm playing with an Xbox One controller. And without further ado, let's play Enderall Forgotten Stories. Okay, and here we are. Let's take a look at our journal. This is your journal. Here you can view quests and statistics and change the system settings. Under quests, you may mark tasks. Then their quest targets will be shown on the map if there are any for that quest. Under statistics, you can track your previous steps. Under system, you can find settings for gameplay, display, and controls. And just to show you guys the settings that I have here. Uh, here we go. We're playing with an Xbox One controller, but yeah, close enough. Uh, on Adept, I always do my playthroughs with normal. Uh, some people give me crap for that, but... I play games for the story, the experience. I don't really play for, you know, trying to beat it on the hardest difficulty, unless it's a hard game like the Soulsborne series, which I've platinumed all of. In fact, at the time of this recording, I just platinumed Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, yeah, I like playing on Adept for all of you future people that are going to leave a comment like, you know, oh, why aren't you playing on the absolute max difficulty? Uh, and then we have all the normal Skyrim settings display. There we go. Everything is... Oh, by the way, this game is completely maxed out as well on this new PC. All the graphics are completely maxed out. So, let's take a look at our quest, shall we? A nice day in summer. I have to talk with Daddy. He wants to tell me something important. Fair enough. Daddy. Papa. Father. Padre. Other words that mean father that I can't really remember right now because I'm a white guy that mainly just speaks English. Hello? By the way, it looks quite beautiful. This is the best I've ever played this 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 game here um, because of this new PC allowing me to do that. And gosh, it just looks so good. Ugh. I hear something. Well, hi there. There's daddy. Okay, well, you just chopping some wood, father? That's that's nice. Yeah, let's um get some wood. Well, it's summer. Wait, why do we need... Huh. I just realized that why we need so much firewood for for summer but anyways oh hey there i didn't see you coming so how did it go did you find it uh what is this place daddy where are we <laughs> where are we we're at home silly where else would we be just mommy sister you and me now tell me how did it go did you find it i'm sorry uh did i find what uh, no i didn't no? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> oh, well, who knows. Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The Creator was kind to us today and sent a big, fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Okay. I have to talk with Daddy once to tell me something important that has been completed. Even though I just repeated it. Uh, okay, so let's go help mommy with the cooking, I suppose. M m mother Mom? So you can see, it's got some of the assets from Skyrim, like the tap roots and the jars and certain things. But largely, this game is its own and uh, has its own assets and things. That picture, I'm pretty sure, is not in Skyrim. Okay, interesting. We have a bunch of silverware there. <laughs> that actually startled me. That actually startled me, no joke. Okay, so this requires a key. Um, normally I just go straight over there, but actually I want a forbidden door. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen the subtitle for that. Nutritiousness of meat. Uh, let's read that real quick. Meat is life. Even the Ash people who were populating this world before us knew that. Each time they killed an enemy in battle, they tore out the liver and heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beaten enemy is passed on. But as we are living in a time in which eating fellows is nonsensically seen as barbaric, we, the friends of the bloody meat, have to settle for animal sources. I know, I hate that, when you just want to eat like people but you have to settle for animal sources, it sucks. Oh, I've never noticed any of this, by the way. I'm noticing this now for the first time. The art of crispy meat. Who doesn't know that? 
You are looking forward to a nice crispy piece of meat after a hard day at work, but your useless child who you instructed to cook it gives you a charred something instead. You castigate them, but the problem stays the same. You are hungry, which means that there is no other way than doing it yourself. Walk to the fireplace, cut out a big bloody chunk of the animal and throw it into the kettle. And lo and behold, slowly the pleasant smell of burned life reaches you, reaches you nostrils. Is there anything better than that? I don't think so. Yeah, I never noticed that before. Well, let's go get father his nice, well, his piece of meat. Uh, trap door, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, father, well, uh, here we go. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? But what about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime, to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're so funny. Uh, and yeah, you're also an optimist, that's true. We do have more food now that sister and mommy are dead. So we have three choices here, but really we have one choice. But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked men. Oh, silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And... Oh gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked men. Oh, by the creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? <sighs> you know, sometimes I wish the Creator would have made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less... pious. Because then, I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? The dead don't forget. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat, you spoiled brat! Bring it to me! Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat! 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 Shout out to all the people that have never seen that before <laughs> and just said, what the hell, audibly. Yeah, this isn't your grandmother's Skyrim. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world. Seven Arcanists, who through their magic, had acquired eternal life. In a time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most. They 
ruled over with an ironclad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. But all of this was merely a diversion, so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork, having long stood still. Its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. Oh no, your eyes don't deceive you. Yeah, this is all real. Hey, quiet, damn it. You wanna wake up the entire ship or what? Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? Yes. Uh huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and. Well, not like this. Some things never change, I guess. Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean. Yeah, as I was saying before, no, this is, for anybody seeing this for the first time, I'm sure you're very shocked at how good the quality is thus far. And like I said, that's why this is more of a game than actually a mod, in my opinion. But obviously it's using the Skyrim stuff. So blame myself, what makes you think that? I don't know, maybe, but even if I do, what difference does it make? Nonsense. Those bastards from the temple killed them, not me, and I know that. Let's go with this one. I don't know, maybe. But even if I do, what difference does it make? None. You're right. But... Who knows? Maybe everything is gonna be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Okay, so I'm probably going to silently read our dialogue options and then pick the one that I like the most. Me too, but we're going to pay our debt as soon as we have earned some money over there. We're talking about 500 pennies here. Even if we're able to find a job over there, we will still need the money for ourselves. Don't fool yourself. What we're doing here is theft. Unfortunately. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but I just keep on forgetting it. Okay, so because I am very hazy on the opening of this game and the different options, uh, I'm going to describe the races that we can pick, and then I'm going to meticulously craft my character. Uh, I went into this with not really, with just wanting to have, you know, a, a blank slate and not, and just letting the character be created, as opposed to, like, figuring out what I want to do from the start, because, again, this game is, uh, very hazy to me in terms of the details and what the options are. So, here's the races. Half a turna. And you're going to see some obvious, um, you know, you're going to see some obvious similarities to the game that this is, uh, based on, well, at least, you know, the engine. 
Native to the swampy continent, Miar Aranath, the destruction of the land caused by decades of war forced many Aterna to escape to other countries, where various destinies awaited them. Some pursued and disregarded them because of their innate magical talent. Some revered them for it. Many Aterna earned their life as traveling minstrels. Half Aterna start with a bonus for elementalism, entropy, mana, and enchanting. So we've got the mage elf type class here. Half Erezalian. Originating in the barren and steppe-like continent Erezale, the Erezalian are a divided people. While the nomadic natives in the steppes maintain their pantheistic traditions, the coastal inhabitants regard them as primitive and struggle for recognition as a fully-fledged part of the civilized world. It's weird that it doesn't tell us what bonuses that we get. Half Kilanian? Half Kilanian? As a secluded people, the inhabitants of the belt of Kile are said to have a reclusive mind. Kileans are deemed as blessed businessmen, rumor that can be ascribed to the Blue Island Coalition, which is Vin's biggest trading company and is located in Kile, among other things. Half Kileans start with a bonus on rhetorics, carrying capacity, sleight of hand, and marksman. Okay, so we've got our sort of imperial there. This, I, like I said, it doesn't give us the bonuses, which is weird. And then half... Kiranian. Kiranians originate from the namesake Desert Continent, which is said to be both barren and inhospitable. And at the same time, it is known as a cradle of science, mysticism, and culture. While many foreign countries admire Kira for its advanced culture, they are often deemed as heretical and immoral, especially on religious continents like Enderal. So yeah, it's odd that they only tell us what the bonuses are. But basically, Redguard, um, Imperial, I have no idea what this would be considered. Maybe a Nord? And then... Uh, yeah, obviously, all of the elven classes, um, with, with magic. So, I'm gonna think this over and create my character. It's probably gonna take a decent amount of time, and I will see you all once it is finished. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are. So, I went with Kilnayan. Uh, I want to go, well, I'll talk about the build a little bit later, but if you take a look at what we get the bonuses for... Yeah, I, I kind of dig that. And plus, I usually go with uh, all the other times I've started a playthrough of this. I went with Erezalian, I think. So I wanted to switch it up. So we're going to be a Kilanian. Kilane, uh, and then that's what we kind of look like. And notice the kind of slender build. And then the hair and the beard. And I think it looks good. And that's going to be who we are. So we're going to finish and name our character. Yes. Finish. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to call this guy... A-Lock. Uh, it, it was suggested a long time ago, and I really like that name. So usually when I'm looking for just like a, a good-sounding RPG character name, I like going with A-Lock, and I haven't completed a playthrough yet with this name, so this will be the first. A-Lock! Ah, Kilei. She fled from that civil war the Black Crescent caused, didn't she? Ironic, isn't it? Seems some parents pass on their fates to their children. Uh, anyway, Whew, I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait, you hear that? Shit, someone's coming. Women nowadays just don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. Yeah, hold on one second. I need to take a look at this sack here. Uh, we've got some coal. I'm just gonna take everything. I don't know exactly what use a lot of the items are going to be. Remember, I've just started a playthrough like three times and I've got de de decent ways into it the third and final time, but I've never really gotten the game as a whole. I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days, back when I could lift a skirt nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Now where did I put that key? Ah, oh, Blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp. Quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. Ah, here we go. Ah, it smells like Vautier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. That's not good. Oh shit. I don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! 
Well, I would, but I can't move. Okay, there we go. So start it. A new life. Defend yourself. Press LT to attack and hold LT for a power attack. Nice. Okay, so he said take on the old one. This is the old one. Re you can do it. Well, I guess we're switching it up because he's taking on Reek now. We'll take on this yellow-haired dude. Come on, hold LT. There we go. There's the big power punch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That wasn't part of the plan. Not at all. What in blazes are we going to do now? Okay, let's see. Let's kill them. It's safer that way. Maybe we should turn ourselves in. Let's tie them up and gag them. When we arrive, we sneak out. Um, I'm gonna have a sense of honor at least at the start here, so maybe we should turn ourselves in. After we've beaten up two of their sailors? Oh, great idea. Really. Especially considering what they say about this captain of theirs. What do they call her? The Blood Siren? No, that won't work. Damn it. Damn it! Tie them up. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, that's it. We need to tie them up and gag them. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on. Help me search. There must be a rope or something. I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. It just can't ever be easy, can it? Sneaking aboard a pirate ship? Yeah, it's probably not going to be that easy. I'm going to take these guys' stuff, um, just in case it's pertinent. Also notice, I, I believe that Sky UI, it's been suggested 18,000 times for me to use uh, during any of my Skyrim stuff. Uh, and it just kind of comes with the territory here. So we need to help this guy find a rope. And I don't actually remember where the rope is, but trust and believe... We're gonna find it. Uh, what was that? A sack here with Andralian penny coins. Let's take a look at that. That's kind of the uh, currency for this world here. Um, uh, let's see. Where is that rope, friend? Uh, oh, inter Oh, it's right there. Oh, lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. What the? Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant, as are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here, please. We didn't mean any harm, these guys were just- You ask that I not reveal you, for your intentions were not evil. And I believe you, but sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. The way it has been for eons. I am sorry. What the? Oh no! No! What are you doing? Please! Please don't leave! We, were, we just wanted to... So it would appear that we were chucked at a wall there. After we had lost Ostian, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yes. I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance. Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, build potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. 
Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But Captain, they... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in Nerim. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. Cold as ice! Jeez. Talk and How does it feel to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, Tina. I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I'm Tina. It's just... Well, it was, and there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this isn't happening. what is reality and... Selfish fool! So, any questions? <laughs> yeah, this um, this game is something else. I love the opening. I love the nice crisp piece of meat. How dark it is. This game is so dark. Um, and I just really... It, it, it's such a juxtaposition from Skyrim and the themes that Skyrim deals with. Um, and yeah, I, I'm sure that a lot of you, again, that have not seen any of this, have many, many, many questions. And don't worry, we're going to be exploring all of those questions as the main playthrough of this YouTube channel. And I'm very, very excited. I want to... So keep in mind, it is an open world RPG. So I did do, you know, a lot of things, but I never really got far, in my opinion. Uh, in the, like, the three times that I've started this. Uh, again, because of the PC being crap and not being able to run this. But, um, yeah, we can do a lot of other things that I haven't done. I I'm just going to take this at my own pace and explore and have fun with this playthrough, basically. Because I've always wanted to just delve into this world. It's It seems so good and so well-crafted. Um, and that's going to be the first episode, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to support me throughout this series, consider becoming a patron over on Patreon for even just a dollar. Helps out the channel. And then liking the videos always helps. Uh, and just, you know, give me any cr constructive feedback or tips, which I definitely will need as we go through this series. You're gonna realize that I don't really understand- Ooh, I never noticed that. I don't really, um, understand everything about this game because it's very in-depth, uh, with its mechanics, as we'll see at the start of the next episode. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.